This is Rick Aselta from the Jane Goodall Institute Roots and Shoots in Puerto Rico. I was a child during World War II. It was a time of horror and hope. At seven, my playground was the bombed out ruins of Berlin. The world was a mess. People had been through hell and needed hope. Even as a kid, I sensed that something was needed to fill the void left by years of evil and destruction. One of the places I was placed in as a child was a farm school. Like Jane, I quickly realized that even if people were not totally dependable, animals were. <clears throat> they either licked your hand or bit it, if you knew where, but you knew where you stood with them. Your relationship with them was honest. She had a dog, I had an old racehorse. My ongoing story leading up to Jane and Roots and Shoots included a lot of work with students, environmental issues, Peace Corps service in the atomic test islands of the Pacific, and teaching troubled teens for 36 years. Meeting Jane at the university and at my high school, where I taught troubled kids, was like lightning striking. It was the beginning of a long and wonderful friendship and collaboration. There have been so many adventures after that, from Africa, Latin America, Caribbean, Europe, Belize, Canada, Mexico, England, and more. Major outstanding memories include setting up university roots and shoots programs in the United States, working with Tanzanian Roots and Shoots programs to do environmental work, and setting up a national sports program for thousands of disabled adults and children in the, both the United States and especially in Tanzania, getting hundreds of wheelchairs made and distributed so kids could get to school and adults could get to work, uh, both in the U.S. and Caribbean. Working with my wife, Nellie, on helping Puerto Rico recover from devastating hurricanes, earthquakes, and so forth through education, seed planting, and agricultural programs, and initiating roots and shoots all across the island in every place we possibly could, especially in universities. One major aspect has been my recovery from cancer related to my overseas assignment in the Peace Corps. This led to my using my disability as a way of helping others to overcome limitations through athletic activities, mainly racing in wheelchairs. As of this writing, I've completed 52 marathons and hundreds of other athletic events, many of which have been utilized to involve young people and raise funds needed for environmental activities. The Roots and Shoots mantra of compassion, action, and knowledge, everyone can make a difference can apply to almost every major problem we face. It not only gives us hope, but it's a blueprint for accomplishing goals and gathering support for Roots and Shoots projects on an individual and community level. Along the way, the support of my wife, children, friends, and co-workers has been invaluable. Nellie, my wife, has been my angel and a tiger throughout the journey taking up many of the burdens when I needed help. My, she's been my advisor, she's been my idea person. Through cancer and other major medical battles, she's been there, spreading roots and shoots throughout Puerto Rico and becoming a self-taught sustainable agriculture advisor. She had to deal with me being in Tanzania during the embassy bombing, and I literally could not have done much without her. So, it's really great getting the Lifetime Achievement Award for my adventures with JGI and Roots and Shoots. Although it's more like our lifetime achievements because it's been a family and friends story, I can only hope that the lifetime has more chapters to it and becomes the never ending story. Love and hugs, Rick Asalta.